Well, I think right now it's a very it's a very difficult time, and I think leaders actually have to really rise to the occasion. Um, and my own personal philosophy, I guess, leadership philosophy has been about you know total transparency. Um, there's no sense in my mind of keeping secrets, you know, right now in terms of how you're going forward, how strategically you're trying to move the, the company forward. There are a lot of great people on the staff and on the board, and I think by being uh, very upfront with what the challenges are and inviting them into the process for solving the challenges uh, is very important. Um, I've always been a consensus builder, never, you know, dictatorial, if you will, um, because we are a nonprofit organization, and everyone that works for the organization or cares about the organization, frankly, is a stakeholder. And if you don't get the buy-in of your staff, your board, the community leaders, other people in, in your community, then you're you're less likely to succeed. Um, so, and, and I don't have all the solutions. I mean, that's the other thing. I mean, no one does right now, in, in, in my opinion. And uh, I think that there are a lot of things going on right now, not just what's going on in the economy, but what is happening culturally and socially. And I'm of a particular generation, whereas my assistant is of a totally different generation, and I've got a whole array of people on my staff and, and in our community that, you know, are... are, are participating in culture and arts activities in very different ways. And to understand what those audi potential audiences want and how they want to experience art and culture is going to be very important as we try to develop a plan for sustaining these institutions and these organizations well into the future. This is, we're more or less at a sea change moment, I think. And we we don't know where this is going to go, so the more people that can get charged with uh, coming up with solutions, the better.